Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today I'll be taking a look at a brand new beta from ESET. This is their version 9 and it looks beautiful. So let's get started. As I mentioned, they have a brand new UI and this looks so much more modern and uh, neat as compared to the previous UI. It's still very functional. They have the same basic layout, that is they have the different tabs at the left and the complete overview on the right. So far I really like it. The installation was a bliss. It took just a few minutes, like five minutes. The installer size was also pretty good by today's standards, just 88 megabytes. And the update was even more impressive. It was just a four megabyte update to get this thing up and running. So it was one of the most smooth and quick installs that I've ever seen. Of course, you expect that with ESET. They're pretty good at this stuff, optimization. So now let's take a look at some of their advanced features. They still have the same scans. And now they have a different banking and payment protection. And they still have the same anti-theft for laptops and mobile devices. Now, their core components, I don't know if they have... Uh, made some improvements to the intrusion prevention system that is their main area of uh, you know advancement for me I would say uh, real-time protection and all I think they've got the rest of the stuff pretty well optimized but let's take a look at some of their settings so these are the scan parameters and they still have threat sense but you know, the new fonts and menus, I, I really like them, but the only concern I have is they're a little bit, little bit bigger for this user interface, and it can look a little bit clunky at times because of the bigger fonts. But it's still well organized, so it shouldn't be much of an issue. So threat sense parameters, we still have these settings. They just look a little bit different because of the skin change, but Underneath, they're pretty much the same technology. So we have network attack protection. This is their firewall. This is smart security, so you get all the advanced features. Web and email protection. And device control. And we still have complete gamer mode. This is an advantage to some people who don't want to be interrupted while they're doing something, like gaming, of course as the name suggests. So for this test I'm just going to test everything in default settings. And keep in mind the intrusion prevention system is set to automatic mode. This is the default mode and um, that's the way I'm going to keep it. They have something called smart mode which I would be interested to test. I'll probably you know see how this test goes and accordingly you know, tune some of the settings maybe in the final version when I test it again. But as of now, I'm going to leave it as it came from the factory. Well, let's, see, let's see if we can do a little default. Yes. Because I did play around a little. I might have changed something, so I'm going to make sure that everything is back as it was. So once this is done, we'll take a quick look at the resource usage and then we'll proceed with the test. Of course, I still have to show you that it's up to date. Now this is taking a while. We might have spotted our first issue with the beta. Mm -hmm. This is definitely not how it's supposed to be. Interesting, so if you close it, it just goes away. And if I press this button, whoopsie daisy. Seems like that's an issue with this beta. Might be a glitch, because it's repeating itself every time. So anyway, I'll just uh, leave it as it was, and uh, we'll proceed. Now, don't worry about the security tools. These are basically extra protection features like parental controls, which I'm not really going to test. It's not within the scope of this test, so that's why these are off and 
you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, by default, it does come like this, so it's not that I've turned anything off. It's just I haven't configured them because they're not necessary for this test. So update, once again, let me just show you, it is up to date. Resource usage, whoops. So ESET is known for being light on the system. That is not especially true with RAM usage. If you look at this version, it is taking something like 140 megabytes. And um, that's, that's pretty heavy considering just RAM, but as I said, RAM is not the prime factor here. Every AV uses their signatures and they somehow have to, you know, store them somewhere. So RAM is not the biggest ish concern these days. And nowadays AV companies are not even concerned about RAM usage because everyone has at least like four gigabytes of RAM. And that is not really, you know, that makes the AV RAM usage irrelevant. Even browsers take up like hundreds of megs these days so I'm not really going to complain about the RAM usage but we'll see if it slows down the system while we're using it I don't think it's going to do that EZ are pretty good at optimizing their products for performance so let's get started with our basic web prevention test for which we have plenty of links let's start off with this one now this threat has been blocked. You can notice the new notification system. It's uh, like Windows 8 notifications. Some people like it, some people hate it. It's up to you what you think. So this is a big file, images.exe. Again, different name and different extension. An image cannot be an executable file, so if you're smart, you're just going to cancel this download. But I'm dumb, so I'll just let it run and we'll see if ESET can save me. Yes, so ESET does save dumb people from malware. There you go. Now this is, again, something that I really didn't like too much. A reboot is required to complete the cleaning process, considering that this was not even active like I just downloaded it and it got detected so I don't see why this is necessary and if I keep listening to ESET and restart we might have to restart after every link so I'm not going to do that but I will restart after going through the whole process this one got caught by their web prevention so that's good let us proceed with the next link once again blocked by the ESET signatures and reboot requested here's the next piece of malware once again detected immediately ESET signatures are pretty good they're pretty good at picking up web threats so I'm expecting a good result here and that's pretty much what we're getting so far. Everything has been blocked by the signatures. Sometimes it's been the web shield, sometimes it's been the real-time protection. This is an interesting one. It's an archive. Doesn't matter, it's still blocked. So Good job, ESET, directly blocking that nasty archive. This is a really long link. Let's see if it can scare ESET away. Nah, didn't work. So it got blocked, and that is a clean sheet in the web prevention test. But just for formality, I'm going to reboot the system before continuing. But as we saw, every single link was blocked, so there's no need to go through our second opinion scan procedure. So I'm just going to reboot the system and then we'll continue with the test. Now it is time for the detection test. I usually just do prevention tests with beta products, but in this case I'm going to do a full test. So we have 500 samples that we're going to test it against and let's see first of all what kind of detection ratio it can manage. So I'm going to do a 
very basic right click scan with TSET. Now this is a nice thing that they've changed. It's not in this version, I believe it was changed in the previous version. But now you don't have to, you know, go into advanced options and select scan with cleaning. By default it does clean the threat, so that's nice. But then again, this is not something new to this version. Just thought I'd mention it because a few versions earlier that was not the case. Let's see how long it takes to scan. So far it's pretty fast. 179 threats found and it's cleaning them at the same time so two-in-one procedure but I'm still going to pause the video and I'll be back when all the threats have been removed as usual ESET prompts me to select action for several threats and I'm going to select delete for everything The scan is finally completed and uh, hopefully it's gotten rid of all the threats. We have 37 items left. To confirm I'm going to do one more scan and as you can see no more threats are being found. So let us just quickly calculate the detection ratio for this. Should be pretty simple. We had 500 to start with and now we have 37 left over. So that is a straightforward 92.6% detection, which is pretty impressive considering these samples are just about a day and a half or maximum two days old. So that is a pretty good result for ESET in terms of detection. It's actually a bit better than what I was kind of expecting. So let's re-enable the protection. Now as you can see, we are protected let us test out our zero-day defenses. So I'm going to run these threats one by one and we'll see if ESET can protect us against unknown threats. We do have some kind of intrusion prevention. Wow. So this uh, new download, I guess there's some kind of adware. It's actually downloading 360, which is a legitimate program, so that's why I canceled that. Let's see if there's some kind of exploit. Don't know if that did anything. This one got caught, quarantined. Now potentially unwanted application found. Clean this file, yes. That should get rid of that. Some of these are just broken. I don't know what this is going to do. Uh, lots of questions, no answers. Let's keep going. Now, apologies for the noise that you might be hearing if it's distracting you. I, I'm having to film this in a very noisy environment. Not really my preference, but I have very little choice. So far, I'm seeing some stuff execute, but I think most of them are failing to execute. A few working samples. That I'm not getting any alerts for. I don't know if the automatic intrusion prevention is completely automatic and whether it gives the user alerts or not because I'm not getting any alerts so far I haven't seen anything but it might be doing some blocking in the background you never know threat found that is a signature detection I guess probably another piece of adware this has an AMD logo Okay, so that's it. We ran every single file that ESET had missed. 
Let's check out the task manager to see if we can see anything obvious. I see this thing running. It's probably a piece of adware. We see this. We see this, but how malicious they are exactly and did they actually affect the system or infect it in any way. So I'm going to leave this system running for a few more minutes and then I'm going to reboot and you know the procedures we're going to do as many scans as we can to find any malware that might be on the system or any system infections. And based on that we'll be giving ESET the final evaluation. Just on a side note so that you can see ESET is blocking some of the web pages that these processes are probably trying to load. I got a couple of these alerts so I thought I should put this in here too. Here is another interesting alert. It says botnet protection suspected botnet blocked. So it's nice to see these alerts that it's blocking some stuff so I'm going to keep the system running for a little while more and then I'll be finally back with the results if I don't see anything more interesting pop up. After rebooting the system it appears that everything is fully functional and working. The adware hasn't made any changes to my web browser and I don't see any weird processes in task manager but that's not enough evidence for us to call the system clean is it? So let's get to the second opinion scans. First of all Hitman Pro. It says system is clean, malware bytes, once again same result, no threats detected and MCSoft emergency kit came up with the same result. So. That means ESET Smart Security version 9 beta receives a clean sheet. Now that is a really good result, a small reference for any soccer fans. This kind of result would even make Manuel Neuer proud. So I'm really happy to see this because the last couple of tests that I've been doing haven't had a very pleasant result. They've been a little bit disappointing. But it's really good to see that ESET Smart Security has done a really good job here. So I'll be doing a very thorough test when the final version is released. Until then, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this test. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Stay informed, stay secure.